yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Bingo. 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 Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We talking my dog, the Jonte Murray, baby. All star. <laughs> Listen, when I heard the news, man, I was at my desk acting a fool, bruh. Like I was Kevin Garnett. Possible! When I started imagining all them DJ haters' faces scrunching up and stuff, I went wild. <laughs> Even now, people hating, bruh. Even people saying, oh, he wasn't part of the original selection. Man, get out of here. Ain't nobody care about that, dog. If you mad, just let it out, dog. Seriously though, I think most Spurs fans are happy to be represented in the All-Star game and are genuinely happy for DJ right now. But you can tell there's some people saying the right things, but you can tell that they hurt inside. Congratulations! <laughs> this is big. This is big for DJ, man. This is something no one can ever take away from him. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel hit that like button don't forget to hit that bell for more videos thank you so much for the continued support i think one of the things that has me so excited about this selection is the fact if you look at dj's journey his journey his journey to the nba was fantastic to begin with the fact that he even made it to the league and not in jail and not killed if you know anything about his background is astounding so for him to be a late dra late first round pick for the Smurfs, come in largely as a defensive player, you know, potentially being just a three and D player, you know, potentially being a Bruce Bowen type player, which nothing wrong with Bruce Bowen, but putting in the work, hurting his knee when he looked like he was about to turn the corner, missing a year, rehabbing, coming all the way back and starting to piece his game together. You know, he he couldn't shoot when he first came into the league. Now he has one of the best reliable jumpers in the league from mid range. You see what I'm saying? Now his three point shooting is getting better. You know, he still has a lot of work with the three point shooting, but he's a threat out there these days. OK, his decision making was an issue. He's worked on that, you know, looking for his teammates, you know, mastering the pick and roll with Pirtle. You know, even last year, playing off DeMar DeRozan, helping him, being the Robin for DeMar DeRozan. So, you know, he's overcome a lot for this, you know, in his career so far, you know, for him to be here. He's always working hard. He's always in the gym, you know, and you got to salute that. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care if he was, you know, selected at the last minute. I don't care he was selected because of injuries, because everyone knows he had an all-star caliber year up to this point, averaging 29 and nine, basically. That is ridiculous and beyond our expectations. That's all-star player stuff right there, man. 10 triple doubles. The only reason why he didn't get in is because of the structure of the game. And that's why someone like Wiggins can sneak in and Draymond averaging seven, seven, and seven, could get in an all-star game because of position. So I was glad that Murray, who has had the better year, was able to get in. So this is legitimate. This isn't, you know, a handout. He has the numbers to back up his selection. Another reason why we should be hyped for this guy being part of this all-star game regardless is that it gives him the taste of that lifestyle, a taste of what it means to be an all-star. And I'm very sure and confident that that feeling, that energy is addictive. And you want him to have that, you know, get that taste in his mouth, get that blood in his mouth so he'll yearn it moving forward as a player. You get what I'm saying? And I still want him to be a team player and it is about team. But once he reaches that mountaintop, sees how it feels, he's going to want to return as many times as possible. So this bodes well for building his confidence moving forward, building his confidence that he can go to the All-Star game, build his confidence, come back 
and spread that love around with his teammates help with his leadership next year he you know makes make him want to work even harder than he's already has you know and i know he hears the rumblings of him getting picked you know at the last minute he getting picked because of injuries yada 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 and i if i know anything about Dejounte, honestly and you know i don't know him personally but just watching him and listening to his interviews and listening to this young man speak he is going to take that to heart and put in even more work this summer to you know bona fide be a bona fide pick next year for the all-star game that's going to be one of his personal goals you can bet on it and if you don't believe me and other spurs fans and what we're saying about dejounte murray's growth just look around the league man he is well respected he people root for him lebron james man one of the greatest basketball players ever despite what you may think of him he's one of the greatest ever y'all be real he may not be the greatest but he's one of the greatest ever top two to me so he has love for dejounte he's representing for dejounte so it's not just spurs fans it's not just people like myself other people are coming out saying yo this man is hooping he's playing really well Devin Booker has said great things about DeJounte. Chris Paul has said great things about DeJounte. Steve Kerr came out and told the media, hey, I voted for this guy to be an all-star. I think he's an all-star, okay? These guys don't have, you know, they don't have a horse in this race. You know, they don't have to say these things. They're saying it because they're masters of the game and they recognize good players. Draymond Green goes on national television with the tnt crew ernie johnson kenny the jet all these guys showing dejounte murray love you know so when i hear negative things about dejounte in spurs nation i can't help but scratch my head what are you guys seeing that the world for the most part <laughs> is not seeing he's playing well is he a perfect player no i've never said dejounte was perfect but does he back up what he talks about? He does. You know, people say, hey, he talks so much, he talks too much, he talks too much. But every year he's gotten better. Every year he's taking another step in the right direction. Now, whether you like it or not, he's an all-star. He can add that to his resume. And get this, he's still in the running for most improved player. You get what I'm saying? This only adds to his resume for a most improved player award which you know he could or could not get and this and also if he continues to lead the league in steals he's doing that by the way heck that's an all nba defensive team um nomination right there whether that's first or second team so come on guys man let's put the rivalry away and oh man Derek white better and oh he oh oh he plays hero ball and all that. let's put that to the side and recognize real and give this man props at the end of the day man i'm happy for this dude i'm proud of him man keep going dejounte keep working hard keep putting the work in man people are noticing man i can't wait to see the game man i'm gonna be on the couch sounding like in his face in his face yes in the face <laughs> all right guys pay